Hey everybody, Clock TV's back here with another video. Now, I have gotten numerous requests to make this video, mainly due to the fact I haven't done this vid in like two years already. And I felt that it was now the perfect time to do it due to some new arrivals at the shop. So what is it exactly, if you're wondering? Well, in 2021, we're gonna see which Westminster chime clock is sounding the best in 2021 with the new collection. And these new arrival, we have three new arrivals and competitors. So that'll give us some more options. So here's the deal. If you wanna vote, just leave a comment down in the comments. Simple enough. Just leave a comment with your vote. That's it. But I don't have much to say, but the fact is I got numerous requests to make this video. So here you guys go. I bet this is what you've been waiting for for a while. But without further ado, let's go ahead and look into our competitors. Our first competitor is the Colonial Grandfather Clock. The next competitor is the Emperor chain-driven Westminster Chime Grandfather Clock. Then we have the Howard Miller Worthington Mantle Clock. Next we have the Ridgeway Bracket Mantle Clock. Then we have the Howard Miller 612-437 Bracket Mantle Clock. Next we have the Seth Thomas Tambor Mantle Clock. Next we have the Howard Miller 613-226 Wall Clock. Then we have the Howard Miller Joyce Barrister Mantle Clock. Next we have the Canadian Triple Chime Mantle Clock. Next we have the Rare HAC Westminster Chime Mantle Clock. Next is the Howard Miller Sandringham Wall Clock. Next is the Howard Miller Jenison Triple Chime Wall Clock. Next up is the Howard Miller Regulator Wall Clock. And finally, we have the very tall Howard Miller Westmont wall clock. Now that we've seen our competitors, let's go ahead and test out the chimes on all of our competitors. Let's go. We will firstly do the colonial grandfather clock. All right, that is the Colonial Grandfather Clock. On to our next competitor. Next up, let's do the Emperor Grandfather Clock.
That was the Emperor Grandfather Clock. Next, we will do our next competitor. Next up, Howard Miller Worthington. All right, that was Howard Miller Worthington. Onward. Next up, the Ridgeway Bracket Mantle Clock. All right, that was the Ridgeway. Next. Now we have the Howard Miller 612-437. All right, that was the Howard Miller 612-437 bracket. Next. Now for the Seth Thomas Tambor Mantle Clock. All right, that was the Seth Thomas mantle clock. Onward again. Now for the Howard Miller 613-226.
All right, that's the Howard Miller 613226. Let's go on to our next one. Now for the Howard Miller Joyce, which is a pretty rare model. No, you might want to turn up your volume for this one because the chime on this one is pretty quiet. But here we go. All right, that was the Howard Miller Joyce. Let's go on to our next one. All right, now for the Canadian triple chime mantle clock. For your information, it is set on Westminster. All right, that's the Canadian triple chime. Let's go to our next one. All right, now for this very rare HAC two key Mansell clock. All right, that was the HAC mantle clock. All right, on to the next one. All right, next up is the Howard Miller Sandringham.
All right, that was the Howard Miller Sandringham. Let's go on now. All right, now for the Howard Miller Jenison. This is also set on Westminster Chime, just so you guys know. All right, that was the Howard Miller Jenison. Let's get on to our next competitor. All right, now for everybody's favorite, the Howard Miller Shellborn Regulator. All right, that was the Howard Miller Regulator. On to the next. And now for our final competitor, the brand new Howard Miller Westmont. This is our final competitor. So let's go ahead and chime it. All right, that was our final competitor, the Howard Miller Westmont. Now, let us move on to the final announcement. All right, so without further ado, I think I've covered at least every wind-up Westminster chime clock in the shop so far. So, this is going to conclude this video. So, remember, if you would like to vote, send a comment down in the comments section with your vote. That's all. There's no form or anything. Just leave a comment. So, now that you've seen your competitors, it's time to make your decision.
in the comments. So, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and good luck and happy voting. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.